Chip and Joanna Gaines met in Waco, Texas. Uh, they went to Baylor University. Uh, they were very poor when they got married. Uh, I read their book this summer, uh, Magnolia, and it tells how when they met, uh, Chip had a landscaping business, just trying to squeak by. Then he bought an old rundown house, and he was going to flip it, and Joanna had some ideas, what maybe, you know, and uh, so they kind of flipped it together. And for a while then they did that, where they, they, they put all their money from what they sold into the next project. And so they're basically just living paycheck to paycheck. Well, they went along, along like that until they bought the Magnolia subdivision. Uh, that was a big stretch for them. Um, but that's when they made their big break. And HTTV at some point during there came in and said, how about we do a show? And they thought they were crazy, but they did a pilot and uh, it took off. So Fixer Upper is a show that most people know and have seen some show at some point. They take the worst house in the best neighborhood and turn it into somebody's dream house. Well, I got to thinking last summer, why couldn't we do that with, uh, everybody likes a, uh, you know, a flipper upper a story, a, a good news to bad, uh, bad news to good news story, something that got transformed. And could we do that with our minds? I particularly got to thinking about happiness. Everybody wants to be happy. But I don't think very many people are happy. I hear a lot of whining, sarcasm, complaining, people that don't smile very much. And yet, Jesus says he came to give us joy. He wants us to enjoy life and experience happiness. And so I turn to a book in the Bible that's all about happiness. The whole purpose is to help us discover joy and how not to. So it's the book of Philippians. So if you want to turn uh, to it, uh, this is going to be our Fixer Upper uh, book. Uh, the way to find out what a book's about, or one way, is to kind of look for keywords. It turns out the, the word joy is in this book. It's 105 verses. Joy is in there 19 times. Second keyword in the book is found 16 times. It's the word mind. So I've come to the conclusion, if you want to be happy, you have to learn to think right. And so that's what I want to look at in this uh, series, Fixer Upper. Let's start with a question. Turn to somebody in your group. Are you a happy person? That's a yes or no question. And then why or why not? 